Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you're new, my name is Amber and I am so excited to make this video. I was gonna start this video before we actually got her, but uh, we just had so much trouble finding a kitten. We really wanted a kitten and not an actual like adult cat because we wanted to kind of like raise it, I guess, to be super cuddly and train it and everything. So we were looking and we just had so much trouble finding one. We applied actually to I think three different kittens and there was like so many issues. We ran into the issue of someone said like where we live was like too far away from their shelter for us to adopt, which was a little odd. PetSmart actually had a adoption event and we went with some of our friends and they were looking for a kitten as well. So this is Juniper. We don't really call her Juniper though. We call her Junie Bug and June Bug and Buggy, but she is teeny teeny tiny she's very adventurous she'll just play so i don't know if she's gonna sit with me right now because she's kind of in her zoomy mode but she's 1.8 pounds she's two months old and she's a tuxedo cat <laughs> she's really cute but she's so teeny and she's just very adventurous and fun so i just wanted to make like a little video about her and like talk to you guys about the i guess like adoption process of a kitten because like i said it was Kind of a struggle and then also kind of like show you some of the essentials that we got her because this is our first cat we both grew up with cats me and justin but we never had like a kitten of our own this is her favorite toy it's a clam definitely if you're looking to adopt a kitten you should definitely look at the pet smart adoption events because it was like national adoption weeks so they had this whole event going on we were looking a lot on pet finder and having a lot of trouble because when we went to apply to some of those cats they were like pre-adopted already i'm really happy that we have a little juni bug juniper june bug whatever you want to call her i'm trying to show you guys her more but so basically the story of how we picked out her was we went to this adoption event with our friends i'm playing with her right now that's why <laughs> but at PetSmart they have this whole like you know section with all the kittens and they did have some kittens but they were like all black and nothing against all black cats but basically all of our furniture is white so i'm like i really don't want an all black cat and she is like mostly black fur but it's okay because she's adorable so our friends actually ended up adopting one of those black cats and then we went over there was like a different section where it was the event from the like humane society in our area and it was her and her sister and we picked up her sister at first actually and her sister was really cute but then my friend picked her up and our friends like didn't want a girl kitty so she was like not gonna adopt her anyway and i was like oh can i hold her and she was so tiny so she's 1.8 pounds i think i already said that she's two months and well seven days when we adopted her now she's like two months and like nine days yeah but she's super sweet she's very cuddly and she's also very playful she loves playing so as you can see right now i can't really show you guys her the other thing of the reasoning of why we decided to go with a kitten was because justin really 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 wanted a puppy but i was like i don't want a puppy right now just because obviously it's a lot of work and kittens aren't as much work as a puppy or like a dog in general you don't really have to take them out she's been super good with the litter box like we showed it to her and she's been like going in there and everything i feel like dogs are more stressful and like more of a learning curve than a kitten and kittens are a little bit easier but they're still like obviously not as easy as like a fish or something so i told justin i was like we can compromise and we can get a kitten so that's what we did and she's the sweetest she's very cute oh let me show you some of the clips of her like her first couple days at home <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give 
with the ghost, now I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you Making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby So like I said We got her some toys I'll show you the other ones This is her favorite toy It's like this little cute clam This is the cutest thing And then we try to get her one of those little like You know toys that you like Like the little string around But it made like too much noise for her and she like doesn't like bells or like loud noises with toys right now so we had to take the bell off her collar too so i got this little shoestring instead that's her other favorite toy and then i'll show you some b-roll we got her this little crab as well and then she just had a couple toys that she already came with she's literally running around everywhere so it's a struggle to get her in any of the videos i also would definitely recommend getting a scratching post they won't scratch like your furniture and stuff they have somewhere like to do it also if you're interested what we're doing with her is we don't let her sleep with us at night right now because we don't want her to like expect to like always be able to sleep with us we put her in another room while we're sleeping and we put her bed in her little scratching post and it's where her litter box is too so like she can obviously do what she needs to do we also researched just like how to train a kitten and all of that so after she eats we just like put her in her litter box so she knows like that's where she's supposed to do her business and all that if she starts clawing at like our hands or our legs or something we just like redirect her with the toy because we were reading that it's actually like they don't really respond to like yelling at them or anything or saying no like a dog would so you're supposed to like do positive reinforcement kind of just like redirect them to like another activity so that's what we've been doing but i will definitely keep you all updated on the whole kitten situation but we have to take her to the vet for the first time next week which will be good and hopefully everything's all good with her just wanted to make a video talking about getting a kitten because i thought that it would be a fun video for you guys and also i wanted to update you guys on that we had been looking for like a couple months before actually finding her so it was definitely a huge struggle as i said before to find any kittens that were available because kittens just get scooped up like anytime people see kittens available somewhere they just come and grab them we were looking at these two from actually the same place that we got her and we were watching them they have like a live kitty cam we were watching them on the live cam and then we went to go like see them and they were both like adopted by like 11 a.m. So it's definitely crazy with kittens. So if you're looking for a kitten, definitely I would recommend going to like the PetSmart events and stuff like that because that is where we ended up finding her and she's fixed already and has like all of her shots that she needs. I'm sorry if this is a shorter video, but I just wanted to kind of show you our little Junie bug and tell you about her. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll definitely keep you updated on little Junie bug and I will see you all in my next video.